Okay, so it's my third try trying out different vegan queso recipes. These three are all going to be from the Minimalist Baker. Um, I'm going to start with the five minute vegan cashew queso. This is seems the easiest by far because it just has like a few ingredients and you just throw them in the blender and mix them up. So looking forward to that one because it sounds pretty easy. Um, the next one is the creamy white bean queso, and this has a few more ingredients. Um, it doesn't seem too bad, but it's just I've got to cook the beans first, so that's going to take a little bit extra effort, but we'll see how it turns out. And then the last one is the cashewless vegan queso, and this one actually uses eggplant has a lot more ingredients um and also a ton of steps like the instruction page is this long um I've got to put the eggplant in the I've got to do a lot with the eggplant I've got to put it in the oven and do all this stuff but it and then yeah I've got to put it in the blender and then put it in a saucepan so it's got more steps so if it doesn't taste just amazing. I probably won't be making this one again, but we'll give it a try. Also with this one, it does have a step. Um, it's supposed to have a jalapeno in it that you're supposed to put in the oven. Went to Walmart. Why Walmart doesn't have a very large produce section and I couldn't find any jalapenos. I was going to get some canned ones, but I was just like, whatever. So this one is not going to taste like exactly how it says on here because I'm not doing the jalapenos. And also, I'm not going to even mix. So you're supposed to bake the jalapenos and garlic. I'm not going to mess with baking the garlic. I'm just going to put it in there raw as is. So yeah, but these recipes, all three have fresh garlic in them. And so I think that's going to taste good because I love garlic. So we'll just start and see how it goes. I've got some of the ingredients measured out already. So I'll go ahead and get started on this first one, this five minute cashew recipe all right so I've got my ingredients this one has raw cashews and it didn't ask me to soak them so I didn't we're just going in with cashews straight out of the bag garlic cumin chili powder nutritional yeast set of hot water salt and then some of this chili paste so I'm gonna throw it in my blender and we'll see how it goes all right so here's what we got um, Again, doesn't really taste totally like a cheese sauce. The I do like the chili paste in it though. It just made it just like a little bit spicy. But yeah, it made about uh, maybe like a little over a cup, maybe a cup and a half. So I will move on to the white bean recipe. All right, so I've got the beans on the stove. It's had to pour in the can with the juice and everything and bring it to a boil and let it simmer for a few minutes. So while I wait for that, I will start cleaning. I like to clean along the way, otherwise it just gets crazy at the end. So I will bring this to a boil and then move on to the next step. Okay, so the beans are done. I've drained them and I saved a quarter cup of the juice. So I'll just throw this all into the blender and We'll see what comes out. So here's the other ingredients. I've got some nutritional yeast, garlic that I didn't put in the oven. I'm just gonna throw it in like that. Looks like cumin and smoked paprika and then a quarter cup of raw cashew butter and then some salt. So we'll throw it in here. I don't think there's enough liquid in here. It did say you can add more water if it's not enough liquid. So we'll see, I may need to add more water. Okay, so here's how it turned out. You definitely need to add more water. I added probably a whole other quarter cup of water and it's still a little bit pasty. And to be honest, it tastes more like bean dip than like a cheese dip. So I don't know, it tastes okay. So if you want a bean dip recipe, this would probably be good, but I don't know that I would really call it queso, but we'll see how it tastes later. I'll try it out on my roommate. All right, so we're on to this one that has the eggplant in it. So I sliced up my eggplant and then it says to slice it up, 
put it in a colander to draw out some of the moisture and bitterness, let it set for 10 or 15 minutes, then rinse with cold water, and then thoroughly pat dry. And then I gotta put it in the oven to broil. So right now I'm at the step where I've got it sitting for like 10 to 15 minutes. Then we gotta put it in the oven and then broil, spray it, put it with some olive oil. So yeah, we've got some work to do. But once we get done with this eggplant business, um, it looks kind of easy after that. Put it in the blender with the other ingredients. But then we take it out of the blender, then put it in a saucepan and cook it for like five minutes. And then make some adjustments if we need to and then put in some salsa or rotel. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm still on step one. All right, so I've got the eggplant with a little bit of oil and I've got it in the oven on broil for about four to five minutes. Okay, so I cooked them a few, ah, I cooked them a few minutes and flipped them. So now I'm gonna cook them a few more minutes and hopefully they're done. In the meantime, I have the rest of my ingredients ready. So this is a cup and a half of almond milk, some garlic, nutritional yeast, Looks like chili powder, cumin, some rotel, and a little bit of cornstarch. So once those eggplant are done, I'll throw them in the blender with all of this stuff and see how it turns out. Okay, so here's how the eggplant came out looking. I just realized there's another step. I'm supposed to take them and put them in foil and let them steam. For a few minutes and then unwrap unpeel them and then we'll be ready to go in the blender so i've got to do that all right so after taking off the skins this is what we had left it said it should make about a cup looks like about a cup to me so i'll just put it in with everything else and blend it up okay so after blending it it's really liquidy and so the last step is to put it in the saucepan on medium, medium high heat until it thickens. So we'll do that and see how it goes. I also just realized that I was supposed to put the rotel in after I take it off the heat, but I put it in before in the blender. So the rotel is all blended in here already. Don't know how much that's gonna affect it aside from not having chunks in it, I guess. Okay, so here's the outcome. It's very liquidy. Even after having it on the stove. But I mean, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. It tastes pretty good. Again, none of these really actually taste like cheese dip, but I don't know, I could see mixing this in with some macaroni and it being okay. Um, this one, it's been sitting out at this point for, you know, like an hour, cause it did. It took probably like 45 minutes to an hour to make that. This is like bean dip, but texture doesn't really matter, I guess. As long as the flavor, this one still actually looks pretty good. It's been sitting out the longest. So this was the, five minute vegan cashew queso. So we'll see later. I'll heat it all up um, and then I'll let my roommate try it. So we'll see which one he likes the best. 